Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Very quick one today, showing some new items from Standard Bindery. Standard Bindery is a retailer here in Australia and they have their own range of stationery items. They recently came out with a selection of Tomal River paper notebooks and they've recently come out with this range of cards and envelopes. So these are matching, uh, size to sort of uh, match each other. So what I have here is the Macadamia uh, versions in the C6 uh, envelope with the A6 size card. Uh, I'm just going to do a very quick little rundown of these uh, and then some, I'll just do a little quick writing sample just so we see what they're about. So these, we'll start with uh, the envelope to start with. You can see how these are beautifully presented, come in a pack of five, nice little band there with the standard bindery embossing on it, uh, and their little information sheet, so it gives the size and made in Australia and all of that sort of stuff. C6 and it says macadamia. Um, these come in a range, both the cards and the envelopes come in a range of different sort of colours. There's a range of off-white cream and ivory versions, uh, named things like macadamia, ghost, lamington and candlelight. And then there's wattle, which is yellow, kingfisher, which is blue, and evergreen, which is, yes you guessed it, green. Um, so the nice range and you get the matching card and uh, envelope uh, options. So the envelopes for a pack of five cost $7.95 Australian, which is the same with the cards. So for a little under $16, you get five matching cards and envelopes made from beautiful uh, paper, environmentally friendly paper, uh, packaged here in Australia. So the the envelopes are C6 size, uh, which is 114 millimeters by 162. They come pre-glued, as you can, you know, standard sort of envelope. There are 270 GSM paper. Uh, and is which is 30% post-consumer waste uh, and you know made in an environmentally friendly uh, uh, meal. So they're thinking about this stuff, which is really really great. Um, as I said, C6 size, which is designed to hold um, something the equivalent of a A6 card, uh, or uh, which is an A5 folded in half. Looking at the cards now, this is how they come uh, packaged. Same thing, pack of five, nice little you know, belly band there, little bit of, bit of information on the back there. These are 280 GSM uh, card uh, and are 147 millimeters, uh, 147 millimeters <laughs> by 105 or 210 when opened out, which this is how they are. So as you can see, it's a standard sort of cardstock card a5 size folded in half to make an a6 so there's no labeling there's no um anything on the cards they're completely blank same as the envelopes designed to let you do what you want with them which is really cool uh, they these also come in a, the envelopes also come in a dl size uh which is the sort of the longer version which is an a5 uh folded into th a6 a4 sorry folded into third sort of size um, and uh, there's a range of those available on the standard binary website as well now they say that these cards are designed to be fountain pen ballpoint and pencil friendly so I'm gonna do a little um, just a little sort of test of that on the on the cards particularly and then I'm just gonna try a couple of things on one of the envelopes so let's start here so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna write and we'll see how a few little pens perform. So, the, as I said, these are from Standard Bindery. So I'm writing here with a Lamy 2000, uh, which is a fountain pen, obviously, and I've inked it with Diamine Oxford Blue. Um, and yes, it's a really lovely pen. Uh, and writes, and it feels nice writing on this paper. And then we get a pencil, which is a black uh, Palomino Black Wing. This is the volume 73. Um, and that Santa Bindery's uh, slogan is archive everything. So the pencil writes beautifully on this. Um, I'll just do a little squiggle and rub it out just to see how that goes because I like to test that as well. So cardstock, so it's going to hold a little bit more of the, uh, the lead residue there. Here is a Pentel Energel uh, gel pen, uh, and these are made in Australia. Standard Bindery uh, is Australian, and uh, they, yes, 
have their range of products from here. Uh, and now I have a Retro 51 uh, rollerball. So you can uh, check out Standard Binary at www.standardbindery. Oh, that should be an A up there. Bindery.com.au. Um, and then lastly, I have a ballpoint pen here. Oh, this is a Disney World pen. Um, Disneyland, whatever it is. Uh, cute. Uh, it's just a plain ballpoint. And uh, you can find me online at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. If you're on Instagram, check me out, like and follow and all of that sort of stuff. So, I have written here with five writing instruments. And on the back, nothing has come through. Absolutely nothing. Which is absolutely fabulous, as you would expect on a card of this weight. Now, if we look at uh, the writing in closer up detail, you can see the fountain pen performs really well. There's no feathering or anything like that. And uh, there's a little hint of sheen there, which is nice. So that's the envelope, uh, the card, sorry. Let's now test out uh, the envelope. Just do, we're going to use just um, a couple of these on this. We'll use the roller ball and the fountain, point, fountain pen. So, so, just write that again. So we have standard bindery from Australia and archive everything. I really love standard bindery. I love the way they present things. I love their customer service. They are a really, really great company. So this is the envelope and once again we don't see any feathering or anything like that as the ink's drying. It does take a little bit longer to dry on these sorts of papers because it's, well, it's sort of more coated and, um, all right, but, you know, really, like, let's see if there's anything that comes, it's harder with an envelope because you're a double layer, of course, um, but if you can see in there, nothing has come through. So these are fountain pen friendly cards and envelopes, which is really nice. Everything seems to write well on them. Um, really nice products. And at $7.95 or $8 roughly for five, they are Fairly well priced for a, a sort of a high uh, end card option, um, but I love the fact that they're plain, they come in a nicer range of off-whites and a few other sort of basic colours. So if this is something that uh, you use uh, and you have access to Santa Binary here in Australia, check them out. These are the cards and envelopes from Santa Binary. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me here uh, or email me, which is my email is listed uh, down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, uh, get in touch, or if there's a way I'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, Enjoy your pens and all your stationery, and I'll talk to you later.